Hi students, it's Miss Ayala. I'm going to be working with you today on division. I'm going to teach you a strategy that's called Big 7. Now the reason it's called Big 7 is because we're going to use a big number 7 to help us divide. Let me explain a little bit more. If we still have our dividend that will go inside of our big number seven. And our divisor, let's see, we'll use a divisor of four, so we're gonna start practicing with a single digit divisor. So this is our division problem. I have 578 divided by four. Now with the big seven strategy, what you wanna do is pull big chunks of the number out at one time. So remembering that when I multiply anything by 10 or by 100, I have the same digit and I'm just adding zeros. So for example, let's see, I have my four and I know that if I do four times 10, that'll give me what class? That's right, 40. But I wanna go bigger than 40 because I have a three digit dividend. I wanna go bigger. So instead of doing four times 10, what should I multiply by? Absolutely right, that is it, four times 100. And what is four times 100? Good, 400. Excellent, so that's what I wanna do. I want to pull out a huge chunk. So my huge chunk that I'm gonna pull out is going to be the 400. Now this is how I'm gonna show it with my big seven. So since I'm pulling out a big chunk, we said that we were going to pull out 100. So I'm gonna pull out 100 and I'm gonna think four times 100, we said was 400. So I'm gonna put it right there under my dividend. Then of course, I'm gonna do the same thing I do when I'm dividing regularly, I'm going to subtract. Because I'm, since I'm taking out that big chunk, I need to subtract it to get rid of it. So straight down, we start in what place? Good, one's place. So eight minus zero is? Eight, perfect. Seven minus zero? Seven, good, and five minus four. Good, gives me one. So now my new dividend is 178. Should I pull out another 100? No, I can't, I can't, why not? That's right, it's way too big. If I pull out another 100, what would, what would that give me? What would it give me if I did another 100 that I pulled out? That's right, 400, way too much. So what should I do instead? Excellent, let's pull out a 10. Because four times 10 was what? Good, that was 40. So I can pull out another 10. What if I pulled out a 20? Could I do four times 20? What would that give me? That's right, it would give me 80. And I know this because I'm multiplying I'm four times two, which is a basic fact. And I know four times two gives me eight, but since I have this one zero there, I'll add one zero there. So four times 20 is 80. But let's see if I can pull out an even bigger chunk. So if I wanna pull out an even bigger chunk, what can I multiply by? Let's think. Let's think of another one. Okay, let's try four times 50. What would that give me? Think of your basic fact and add your zero. That's right, that would give me 200. Could I use that one? No, I can't, it's too big. I only have 178 over here. 200 would be way too big. So let's think of another one. What's another multiple of 10 that I can use? Good, let's try that one. Let's try 40. So four times 40, again, let's look at our basic facts. What is my product? That's all right, it's 160. Because my basic fact of four times four was 16 and I added my zero, good. Can I use 160? Absolutely I can, okay, good. So I'm gonna pull out 40. So I'm gonna pull out 40, and we just figured out that four times 40 was 160. So now let's subtract that. Eight minus zero, good, eight. 
Seven minus six. One. Good job. Okay, now I have a dividend of 18. Can four go into 18? Absolutely it can. Am I going to be pulling out big chunks of 10 again or a chunk of 100? No, absolutely not. Because I know my basic facts. What can I multiply by 4 to get as close to 18 as possible? Skip count by 4s. Figure it out. Good. 4. Because 4 times 4 is what, class? 16. Excellent. So I have 16. 4 times 4 gave me 16. So the chunk I'm going to pull out is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Then, of course, I'm going to subtract. What is 18 minus 16? Absolutely, it is 2. So now I'm going to look at my new dividend. My new dividend is 2. Can 4 go into 2? No, absolutely not. So 2 is going to be my what class? Good. 2 is going to be my remainder. Now, I need to figure out my quotient. Let me show you how to do that. The way we figure out our quotient is we take all of the chunks that we pulled out that are outside of our big seven. So I pulled out 100, 40, and a 4. What I'm going to do with all of those that I pulled out is I'm going to add them together. So 0, 0, and 4. Good. 4, 0, and 4. Four and bring down my one. Now you see how easy that was because Miss Ayala kept her place value in order. I kept the ones and the ones and I had my tens and my hundreds. Make sure you line up your numbers so it's easy for you to add. So this number here is my quotient. My quotient is 144 with a remainder of two because I cannot forget about that number. It is my remainder. So as I put it up right next to my quotient, I will put it as R period and the number two. So my answer to 578 divided by four is 144 remainder two. Let's try another one. Again, we're gonna start with the big number seven. And this time we're gonna have a two digit divisor. So let's say our dividend is 843 and we are going to have a divisor of 14. Now, we're going to do the same thing we did when we had a single digit divisor. We're still going to think of our multiples of 10. We're going to try to pull out big chunks. So, over on the side, let's think to ourselves, if I did 14 times 10, basic facts, what is 14 times 1? Good, 14, and then I add how many zeros? Just the one. So 14 times 10 is 140. Could I use that? Absolutely I could, but is that a big chunk? No, not really. I need to get to 843 or as close as possible. So it's not a big enough chunk. Let's pull a bigger chunk. We know our multiples of 10, so let's try that. So let's see, let's try 14 times 50. Okay, now I don't know how to skip count by 14, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the basic fact. I'm going to multiply 14 times 5 to see what product I get. 5 times 4 is, good, 20, I have to regroup it, 0 there, 2 in the tens. 5 times 1 is 5, good, plus 2, good, 7. So now I have 70, but I have to put in that 0 because I am multiplying by my tens. So 14 times 50 is 700. Is that a big enough chunk? Yes, absolutely, I think we should stay there. So my first big chunk that I'm gonna take out is going to be 50. So right over here, I'm going to put the 50. Let me make myself some room. So we knew that 14 times 50 gave us a 700. So I'm going to pull out my chunk of 50. 
And we already discovered that 14 times 50 was 700. So that's what I'm going to put in here. I'm going to subtract. What is 3 minus 0? Good. 3 and 4 minus 0 is 4. 8 minus 7 gives me 1. Excellent. So now my new dividend is 143. Now look, oh how amazing. The first time we did it, we did 14 times 10. And what did that give us? 140. That's pretty close to what we need to get to. So let's pull out a chunk of 10. So if I pull out a chunk of 10, what is 14 times 10? Good, 140. Then what do I do with those two numbers? Excellent, I'm gonna subtract. And three minus zero, good is three. Do I need to do four minus four and one minus one put zeros there? No, I really don't, I can leave it alone. Now, what is this three called? This three right here, what is that? That's right, that will be the remainder of my problem. I can't forget it, I need to use it, but I'm not going to touch it just yet. I'm gonna remember it, but I don't put it anywhere just yet because I have to figure out my quotient. So let's do that. To figure out our quotient, we're gonna take our two chunks and add them together. Well, that's easy, what is 50 plus 10? That's right, 60. So my quotient is 60 remainder 3. Now, no Okay, class, let's try another one. Let's do another two-digit divisor. Let's do 982 divided by 24. Okay, remember our multiples of 10. We know how to multiply by 10, and we want to take out big chunks. So let's start with 24 times 10. What does that give us? Do basic fact first, then add your zero. So what is the product? Excellent, 240. Is that a big enough chunk? No, no, I think we can go a little bigger. So let's try another chunk. Let's try 24 times 30. Again? We'll do basic fact. So down here, let's do 24 times three, see what we get. Four times three, 12, good, regroup. Three times two, six, one more, seven. So that gave me 720, because I have to put that zero back. Is that a big enough chunk? Yeah, I like that chunk, so I'm gonna stay there. Let's stay there, and we'll pull that one out. So, I'm going to do 30 as my chunk. So I'm gonna take out 30, and we just discovered that 24 times 30 gave us a product of what? Good, 720. So now, what do I do with 720? That's right, we're gonna subtract it from 982. So let's subtract. Two minus zero, good, two. Eight minus two, good, six. And nine minus seven. Two. Perfect. So now we have 262 as our new dividend. What can we multiply by? 24 by what to get us close to 262? Good. I'm glad some of you noticed that. Look, we had already done this one to begin with, and look how close that is. Can we use that one? Absolutely we can. So what's that chunk? Good. Ten. So I'm gonna pull out 10. What is 24 times 10? Good, the product is 240. So what do I do with those two numbers? Excellent, subtract. Two minus zero, two. Six minus four, two, good. All right, now look, my new dividend is 22. Can 24 go into 22? No, it definitely can't. So what does 22 become? Good, it becomes our remainder. So I'm gonna write it, remember it, and come right back to it. Now let's figure out our quotient. To figure out our quotient, what am I gonna do with these two big chunks that I pulled out? Good, I'm gonna add them together. What is 30 plus 10? Good, that is 40. So my quotient is 40 remainder 22. Good job, guys. 
Okay, so now you know how to divide using the big seven strategy. You're going to draw the big number seven because that's where you're going to put your dividends. You're going to put your dividends on the inside, your divisor on the outside, and these numbers, the big chunks that you pull out will be outside of your seven to the right of your big number seven, and those, when you add them up together, are going to become your quotient. So. Now another thing I want you to pay close attention to is that when we are figuring out our big chunks, the chunk will be on the outside and the product that we discover will go on the inside. So the chunk on the outside, the products will go on the inside because that's what we're going to subtract to get our new dividend. So don't forget that. The bigger numbers the bigger numbers will be inside the dividend. The smaller numbers are gonna be outside and those will be the multiples of 10 or the multiples of 100. Those will be on the outside of your big number seven. So don't forget. Okay, students, I think you got it from here. So go practice and have some math fun.